Welcome to episode number 86 of What Does My Quarantine Hair Look Like Today? <laughs> trash. The answer's trash. Mine looks fantastic. Okay. Uh, what's going on, guys? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. I'm Robert Adams. And we are back with another Schmodown reaction. This time it's the Inner Geekdom Division with newcomer Robert Parker. Robert the Spider Parker. The Spider Parker versus old Schmoes No staple, Andres... Ace Cabrera. Yeah. Which I don't know if he's going by Ace as his nickname here. I know his nickname's been Ace, but we don't know yet if he's going by Ace in the Shmoda. Because we haven't watched this because this is a reaction. So therefore, we like watching this with you so you see our reaction. Hence, a reaction. I'm glad you took the time to explain that. I just felt it was needed. It's an inner geekdom match, so I'm drinking out of my Spider-Man glass. Uh, I just got the Hard Rock Cafe because... It's it's Hollywood and that's uh, California, which is where the, these are shot. I don't like Hard Rocks. Anyway, um, I also miss L.A. I miss being able to go to L.A. I miss being able to go anywhere and do anything, honestly. I can go to the bathroom. Okay. Cool. It's always fun. Uh, so this is this is a long-awaited match because this, this is the long-awaited debut of robert parker in the big leagues he is a uh, fan favorite from the fan leagues well he uh he actually took out smets once didn't he i'm i'm not 100 percent certain i know he yeah. dominated pretty well the answer is yes oh okay back in the fan leagues he took out kevin smets however he has yet to take out the smasher in the big leagues yeah so we're looking at a we're, we're looking at this case now the, the situation there is that Robert Parker is also on the same faction as Smets. The Dungeon. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Well, I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to shake up. Or shake out. Well. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how this one shakes out. Oh, those dicky dudes. Yeah. Um, on the flip side, though, we got Ace, who's over on Team Swag. Mm-hmm. Drip, drip. And no, I've had enough dripping lately. That's true. You've had, I don't need any more. You've had enough experience with the dripping. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't need any more dripping right now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so this is this is going to be an interesting one, just because I think, yeah, we're going to get to see we're going to get to see the hype machine, the one that's been drawing so much hype lately. Now the thing is, uh, for uh, Ace Carrera. Uh, he was actually on uh, the video chronic that's Video Drew and Eric Nerd Chronic Rodriguez's show. My hair really is garbage right now. Th that's nice. Make it a point. Uh, so he was on there. They were doing uh, Matrix trivia. Utter trash. And he was doing pretty well at oh, that. Sorry. Yeah, Matrix. So, I mean, if you follow Video Drew on her channel... You've seen what some of questions that he can answer in the realm of like sci-fi geeky got type a, of got a little hint. Yeah. Uh if you're not following her, follow her. Follow her. Duh. Uh meanwhile, we got all sorts Psychos. of fun stuff. <laughs> we got all sorts of fun stuff happening on this channel too. Like Tuesdays we do our show called The Tagline. That's where we talk about movies, movie news and all that. Fun stuff that isn't happening right now anyway, but we're still talking about stuff on Tuesdays. Anyway, you should come join us. It's at 9.30 p.m. Central Time on this channel. The tagline. It's the show where the tagline is the title. Yeah, we did it that way on purpose. Anyways, so who do you got in this match? I got long pauses. I got all the long pauses in this match. I know. They actually fit pretty well. Every single one of our long pauses. Yeah. Uh, I think the answer is obvious right now. There's so much hype around Robert Parker. How can you choose? Just a massive amount of them. hype. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Robert Parker on this. Just It also helps that we're uh, Dungeon Heads first and foremost on this channel. Yeah. Every now and then we'll we'll vote outside the faction, but for the most part, we are Dungeon Heads, and on this match, we are going for the Spider. Well, again, ah. saying he comes from the fan leagues, much like what we were saying with... Uh, I gotta be honest, I didn't even think about that when I picked uh, this glass. The Spider-Man one? Yeah. Nice. Fun. Uh, also, the fact that he is a fan from the fan leagues, Yeah. you gotta follow the fan, much like what we were saying with Jader. Yep. Also a fan, moved on up. And yeah, no, not to the east side. He went oh. to the west side. That's where the studio's at. Parker? No, Jader. He went from the east side to the west side. That's true. He's Florida to uh, anyways. Yep. Geography yep. aside, we're going with Robert Parker on this. Uh, hoping to see a really good match. This is going to be a fun reaction. Yep. 
Let's get into this. Let's jump right on. Let's see how this one shakes out. All right, let's web it up. That's stupid. There he is. Listen, kid. It's your first day in the big leagues, so let me give you some advice. The first thing you do when you walk in there, insult your opponent. What's Mugen doing? No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Tyson, no. (laughs) When you go in there, you're going to want to keep your eyes shut and vision the answer. You don't want, like, a don't tell Peter. Trust me. You understand? But if you have the opportunity, nothing works like a good eye poke. That's how you really sad your opponent. Listen, listen. I mean, I know more than anyone how good you are. You know how good you are. So just go out there, do your thing. I'll be out there to support you, but he's gonna be at some autograph signing session at Arby's off Sepulveda, so uh, you got this, all right? So you play your cards right, you're gonna be the one doing autograph sessions at an Arby's off Sepulveda. I think it's Sepulveda, I hope I didn't send him to the wrong place, but whatever. Listen, we're gonna do this. You ready, kid? Come on! Look <laughs> how Mugen's just running around back there. <laughs> he's carrying the trash can. He looked like, he reminded me of the dude from, uh, Sesame Street that used to carry, uh, fancy. Yeah. Used to carry the garbage can that Oscar the Grouch was in. Yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the movie Trivia Schmodown. What a match we Got a serious face on. The world of the inner geekdom. You are a huge geek. I can do it too. And these two are going to look inward to become new young stars of the movie Trivia Schmodown. Do you have any idea what it's like to suck on your own facial hair? Soul to find out how geeky you are. And I'll tell you what, Why? I thought I was geeky at one point. I, I did wrote too. a book about Star Wars because I'm it's too weird. geeky. I cannot compete in the inner geekdom because you really have to know your stuff, Mark. This is not just like, ah, oh, uh, you know, that character was a dwarf or an elf. It's like he was the fifth elf. How long is this episode? House, house I'll just sit here with you this entire sunset. time. Yeah, I lose my mind. I there is a lot of canon to sort through, Ken, but with canon. these competitors here today, as you're apparently just getting handed waters left and right, I haven't gotten one all day. Mm. Andres Cabrera versus Robert Parker. Here's the facts that we know about these two gentlemen. Combined, they weigh 140 pounds. That's <laughs> Another point. That's true. Jeez, I need to lose weight. Andres Cabrera, look, I've known Ace, as have you, a long time. <laughs> they weigh about as much as your Ace. left leg. He started out <laughs> yeah. as an intern on the old Schmoes No Show, and now look at him. Yeah. He is part of the First Cut YouTube channel. Subscribe there right now. Check out the first cut. With RB3 and Sabrina Ramirez. Yes, he does alongside Robert Butler the third, Sabrina Ramirez. And you know what? I'm do, you, do you want to call this match? I'm just not going to talk any more in my reaction videos. You could call no, this match you if you story. want. I'm just so not going to. We Wisconsin. haven't seen this yet. I'm not saying anything else in any of these reaction videos because I always get to it right before they do. stage at one of these Wisconsin universities. Who's in the crowd? Some kid named Robert Parker. And I say, well, nice to meet you. It's always nice to meet a fan. And he says, I'm actually not a fan of your comedy at all. I despise it. But... He didn't say that. He said that he's going to be in the movie Trivia Schmodown. And I was like, well, every boy needs a dream. Turns out he actually was a high draft pick when we had the draft. This kid knows yep. magic. First pick. I mean, Actual <laughs> magic. Oh, boy. Yeah. He, he lived at Gryffindor for like three years. He is the first pick of the second round for Kaiser in the dungeon. And Kaiser... You know, I got my differences with Kaiser over the years, but I'll tell you what, he knows how to rally the troops. He knows how to train everybody there. And this is a big debut. This is, it reminds me, it's not unlike April 1989, Ken Griffey Jr. for the Seattle Mariners. This super hype day. That's not the best thing that happened that year. He is the kid. Kaiser used to play basketball with him. True story. Um, And and, and you, there was, on opening day, there's so much. Yes, the Berlin Wall fell. Okay. When they're hyped. Yeah. They're number one in the upper deck card set. There's a lot going on. Can <laughs> Let's you, say nothing else memorable happened in 1989. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. There was something. Uh, the Michael Keaton Batman came out. That's true, too. Something else came out, too. I forgot what it was. Yeah. Can't remember. He hasn't been seen around these parts since season two. Freezing. Ace Cabrera's got nothing to lose. He's going to come in here and take big swings. Robert Parker has a lot to lose because he's hyped. And if he loses... Where's that hype go? Flutters away like some kind Goes of to Ace. in Star Wars. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun Yeah, match what happens Andres if Cabrera, Parker loses this match? I don't think it's going to happen, but what happens if Parker loses this match? Robert Parker, whose only weakness is a can of Raid. Let's take a look at oh, the pre-match heard. interviews right yeah. now. He's not going to lose. So I also announced, and this is something that we said, because Brianne knows this name, you know this name. I don't know if you know this name, but do you know the name Robert Parker? <sighs> Did he? (laughs) 
Robert Parker. Robert Parker. Robert Parker. Robert Parker. Robert Parker. Robert the Spider Parker. 2018, I said my pick for Rookie of the Year was going to be Ethan Irwin. 2019, I said it would be Kevin Smets. Choice for Rookie of the Year in 2020 is this kid. Robert Parker. Get your ass in the dungeon, oh. Parker! And come and get wow. this belt if you want. Spider. The dungeon is about <laughs> to go undefeated in the inner geekdom. And bet on that, Jack. So Kaiser has it. nailed down the inner geekdom. Kaiser, lock it in. He's going to be the rookie of the year. Pretty much undefeated in yeah. all of the fan leagues. Godlike player. He, he TKO'd Smets in the fan league. Smets talks about this kid like he's a real player. This strategy. Those two guys look familiar. They're the same, filming us. We're playing the long game. I didn't Justice accept that. Aces will end in a bloodbath with Parker winning by second round KO. Nah, 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 don't disrespect my boy Ace. <laughs> that definitely ain't about to happen. I don't know, y'all know about Ace. Got the Schmobot in it, Shut yes! He's like a storm More excited about that than myself. Stormtroopers miss, though, that, that's kind of their thing. They, they miss a lot, you know? <laughs> boy, he's really like Superman. He ain't got no weaknesses, like none. He's got Kryptonite, though. You know that, man. Kryptonite. He's gonna live forever in these routes, like my boy Voldemort. He ain't never dying, not never. Voldemort dies in the last in the last movie, man. No spoiler alert, what? You know, Winston Marshall may be a big deal at Santa Fe Wonderfest, but here in the movie trivia Schmodown, buddy, you can drip drip on this. Because your boy Ace is Wait, about to get knocked drip on what? Don't. His Peaky Blinder shirt? That's Robert Parker. That's Robert Parker. I'm here to deliver a message. Not on behalf of Kaiser, but on behalf of the entire dungeon. I'm here to take this division by storm. That's a lot of pressure. If Parker comes in there with all this hype around him and Ace wins that, yeah. Parker's on the shelf. All right, you see, I, I got nothing bad to say about Winston and Ace, but I stand by those things and... Thank you, Mr. Kaiser, for taking a chance on me. Take a chance, my ass. This kid Ace is about to get whooped. He's here to have fun. He's got nothing to lose. Just have fun, baby. Bro, I'm here to have fun. I got nothing to lose. He's got all the pressure. I'm just here to show up, have fun, smile. And if I if I beat him, then that's just bonus points for me, man. Go have fun, my dude. You ready? You ready for this? Hey, that's true. Drip, drip, baby. Drip, drip. Yeah. Let's see how this shakes out, kids. There it is. Oh, that's it. You knew that was going to be in there. Oh, of course. Is he doing like a Doctor Who thing? I... I, I guess. That's a blue suit and he's got like the, the time. Why is it everyone from the fan leagues is always concerned with time? It's either prime time or his time or... I like what it's I'm time. Seeing. I like the moxie I'm seeing from yep. these two young men. Their combined age is 24, That's and true. I think that they're ready to compete here today. I have gray hairs in my beard, older than both of them. But here's the thing. <laughs> Uh, we speak a lot about Kaiser, but you can see right there, Winston Marshall. Yeah. Winston Marshall, Team Swag Sweat. Squad. Uh, I, I think you can accomplish a lot with Winston in your corner, and Andres Cabrera has someone in his corner who can get him over the edge. This is going to be great here. Uh, strengths uh, coming into this. I know Andres Cabrera, his strengths include uh, Star Wars, uh, Harry Potter, and, uh, of course, making Robert Butler III laugh during podcasts. <laughs> oh, and what a sweet laugh it is. And as far as Robert Parker goes, the guy knows his MCU films, he knows his Harry Potter movies, and he knows how to get a great deal on a huge cheese log because he's from Wisconsin. Yeah. All right. You ready? I'm you ready. You feeling it? I'm feeling it. It's time it. for the movie trivia. Schmodown! <laughs> Good crowdy crowd here today, Ken. Handling the introductions will be you. I'm ready for the golden throat. Phrasing. All right, that is also the name of one of my movies. All right. <laughs> dink, dink. Intro. Juicing first. Accompanied yeah. by his manager. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Winston Marsh, making <laughs> his inner geekdom debut, and representing Swag Squad. This is. Andres Ace Cabrera. God, I love this faction. Just come out dancing every time. Yeah, this, this team is ready to go. They're buoyant, they're jubilant, they're dancing around. Winston Marshall dressed as a character whose power is well over 9,000. I love it. I'm talking. Look, I don't Winston. In some That's canons, a DBZ reference right there. There's Andres Cabrera with the glasses on. I'll tell you what, Andres is a guy that you want to swipe right on life. Paint ignorance all you want. I didn't watch the show either. 
Look at him. Is Look there a life app where you go like a dating app? Yeah, just in life, can... people should swipe right on Andres. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I got nothing. Uh, here we yeah. go. Yeah. The we power level is under 9,000. If he is, it's your lucky day. All right. <laughs> Have you seen that water jug? He is. Here we go. It's not what she and says. And his opponent. Who? Accompanied by There is no one. Kaiser, representing the dungeon and making his inner geekdom debut. This is Robert the Spider. That's even well dressed for Geyser and the Spider. All business. He's walking all around the studio. He's getting the feel for it. This is his first time here. He's got a tight piece on. Is that a pocket watch? He's got a pocket pocket watch. Oh, he's taking the jacket off. Uh oh. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Look at Kaiser. Wow. Kaiser dressed. He's going to loosen the tie. around the neighborhood collecting money for the mob and then flower shops. That's right. Robert Parker. Dressed in the nights, Kaiser dressed like a street tough in the film The Rocketeer. <laughs> so now we have Robert Parker set as he All gets right. his couplings ready. Andres Cabrera, ace always ready to go. Gentlemen, this is your first time on this stage of the movie trivia showdown Inner Geekdom. So I will read the rules of play for each round. In round number one, it's a contest of knowledge mm. with a point valued at each question. Ten I'm kind of really excited total. right now. Something's about to happen. One, Things. Ten different corners of the movie trivia showdown. Am I blocking your light? Like said, we got new lights, said, guys. This is where. If you miss it, it's so if the lights no are off, if, if question, he didn't color correct no or do anything correct in this, we're ask the question up that's the end issue. End. We got new lights. We're we're working with them. Do I look redder than normal? You definitely look purple. Try to spell as best you can. Try to be as legible as you can. Once we address you by name, that's your cue to I just see this looks all red and this is like bright white. I'm glowing here. Microphone. It's a three-round match. Gentlemen. Normal you each here. Have three usages Anyways, this is fun. JTE nice to step up our equipment. Match. So if you didn't hear a question right, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds. This will look good on the tagline. I guess Tuesday the nights at 9.30 p.m. Central Time. There it is. On this channel. Got some kinks to work out. The three -round match. Here. You didn't like the We're not working out kinks on the tagline. You. We're talking about movies. Your competitor didn't get the right answer. Use a challenge. And I think that's it for the rules. So, uh, Robert the Spider Parker, it's your first time on this platform. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Andres Ace Cabrera, it's good to see you, sir. We've been buddies a long time. How does this stage feel to you? I I feel good. I'm I'm here to have fun, man. I'm here to have fun and smile and show off my inner nerd. So. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, I I feel like you and I are more nervous than these two gentlemen. Uh, look, I'll tell you what. Uh, this is this is lot, lot riding on this for these two gentlemen here, but I like Andres's attitude of having fun. All right, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. Then there's only one thing left to say. Let's get ready to schmodown. Three rounds to a finish. Three rounds to a finish. Did I say that uh, right? I don't know. Some, I think some, I said it right. Some dad of two is laughing at me back there. That's um, right. Grandpa Harloff has been nipping on the cough medicine for quite some time. Uh, your first so question comes in the world of the DCEU. <coughs> We're still calling it that. Please continue to point that way when you DCU, do that. DCEU, your question. Yep. Who plays the character of Shazam in Shazam? I'll tell you what. I'm still Here I put oh, it I was getting the name backwards. You did. That that Shazam. Was, you did that really well. Sounds, Sounds like a cleaner. It does. <laughs> We're going to need an answer here. Five. Five. Four, three, There's technically two, two answers to this question. One. Pence down. Uh, ah. Parker. Zachary Levi. That is That's correct. correct. <laughs> With an exclamation point, does Ace have it? Zachary Levi. Yes, he does. Oh. Yes, Zachary Levi. Zachary Levi. That's going to be the answer that I would expect him to want, but you can also put Jimon Hansu on there. That's right. Get all the nerves out of there. On the all board. right, all right. Your second question out of 10 in this first round comes in the category of Star Wars. Star Wars. Aside from Luke Skywalker, who else ignited Luke's green bladed lightsaber? If right. I had a lightsaber, yes. I'd let everyone ignite it. If I yep. had a lightsaber. I did, no? Okay. Literally one only Five. other person who handled Four. Luke's lightsaber. Luke's lightsaber. Yeah, this is usually always one. a big I trivia question, too, for Star right. Wars. First, first question, uh, first answer coming in from Ace. Darth Vader? That's correct for a point. That's right. Vader. 
That is no, it's Seth really. Seth it must have been the blue one because I, I was thinking Han Solo. Uh, yeah, that's Empire Strikes Back. Uh, yeah, he didn't have a green lightsaber in Empire Until Strikes Back. Until it was Vader on Endor. What is the name of the giant spider that attacks Frodo and Sam in the Return of the King? Mm, <laughs> the yeah. Spider had a name. Shoot, I know. <laughs> It I've heard it too. It had an ethos. It had a Obviously, because I've seen the movies, yeah. but this is my spider, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Pens are down. Yeah. Pens are down. Need an answer starting with Robert. Shelob. Shelob is correct. Ace. Eight. I said Aragog, but that's wrong. Aragog, so. no. The giant spider attacking him is Robert Parker. Yeah, Parker, uh, same. Eric yeah. So yeah. Robert Parker three. takes his first lead of all time. First lead. First Still perfect. Lead here. All right, gentlemen. Your fourth question comes in the category of <laughs> that wasn't DC. a correct answer. D Apparently not. C. Who played the man posing as Ra's al Ghul at the beginning of yes. Batman Begins? Uh, you mentioned uh, yeah. DC. When yeah. we went to uh, DC, what oh, was your yeah. favorite place to eat? You My, remember? I think man, that's a poll on that DC one too. When I asked for a second bag of peanuts on the flight in, it was who a played the man posing as Ra's al Ghul? Yeah, Ray Shaw Ghul. If you grew up on the cartoon, Why? it's Ray Shaw Ghul. Sure. They mispronounced it. Uh, Ken Watanabe. That Nailed it. Correct. Robert. Ken Watanabe. All right. That would be Ken Watanabe. Ken Watanabe. He's in pretty much all the Christopher Nolan movies. Let them fight. All right. Robert Parker still perfect. Ace right behind him with three points. Your next category is in the world of Marvel movies. I didn't say MCU, I said Marvel movies, so these could be anything. In the film X-Men Days of Future Past, what government building does Magneto surround with a baseball stadium? No, I'm going to tell you what, Days Was of Future Past is also a great Moody Blues album. But we're, not, we're, not, we're not doing is it really a Moody Blues? music trivia show. What's on there? Right by season, probably. Five. The Voice. Four. Your Wildest three. Dreams. Two Just and a singer one. in a rock and roll band? You know them. Uh, we're looking for answers, starting with rubber. The White House. White House is correct, yes. The White House. All right, there That's there. the White House. Casa de Blanca. All right, Ace is in the place. Ace is in the place. Keeping uh, things here. <laughs> Phil John uh, Madden is going to like speak up. Ace eight. is the place for this me. This is six questions, gentlemen. That's a dated joke now. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Tough Potter. Tough acting to acting. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor in The Stone? I don't know, man. I don't... You know, I'm not a I seem to watch Harry Potter um, movies again. Um, yeah. Sounds like an important class. Uh, I wouldn't want to skip out on that one. Too, yeah. uh, oh, I slept through Hydra. Defense Against the Dark Arts again. <laughs> Five, four, three, I might have misspelled it, but... Two, yeah, I don't know. And one, we need pens down. Pens down, Ace. All right, you're going to start with Ace. Gilroy Lockhart. That is incorrect. Uh, Quirrell. That is, it is correct. Professor Quirrell. Quirrell. I mean, I misspelled it, but... Quirrell. Yeah. The one that had Six Voldemort on the back so of his head. Alba? No. The spider leads ace. Wrote Elba. Categories in the world nice. of Star Trek. Star Trek. I actually got a Harry Potter one right. Which Star Trek movie was directed by William Shatner? I call him Bill. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Priceline.com. <laughs> TJ Hooker. TV's tape TJ Hooker. Five, and the Twilight Zone. Four. Great in the Twilight Zone. Three. I am purely guessing. Two and one. Pens down. Pens down. We need an answer. We're starting with Robert. Star Trek Five: The Final Frontier. Uh, that is correct. Uh, Space. I said undiscovered country. Uh, uh, right. I said voyage Trek home. Six. Yeah, that's what I put too. One yeah. Off. Parker. The spider Robert. trying to that's put right. some distance between him and Ace. That's right. Uh, all right, your eighth question. I'm going to get ten in this round, but this one it comes in the category of MCU. <laughs> That's Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's guys. Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Who were the last two surviving characters on Titan at the end of Infinity War? Whoo. Okay. Bit of a that. spoiler in there, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Infinity War. That's a that's a movie about the cars, uh, the Infinity, right? I, I that was easy. 30. Yep. Five, four, three. And I love the dynamic two, they have at the beginning of Endgame. game. pens are down. Looking for answers, starting with Me? Ace. Iron Man and Nebula. That's correct. Robert. Tony and Nebula. Yep. Well, we'll that as yeah. Well. Tony Stark and Nebula. Nebula, Tony Stark. All right. Eight to five. Both gentlemen answering so many questions correct, we want to remind you to occasionally go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> Just Your pet stay indoors. Your ultimate question in round number one comes in the category of heroes and villains. Could be a hero, could I be a villain. I want to sing a Beach Boy song. Is, 
Who provides the voice of Miguel O'Hara, also known as Spider-Man 2099, <laughs> in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? <laughs> That's actually kind of a deep pull, honestly. Uh, I'm telling you. Not, and I, I am not, Treat uh, yourself. Yeah, biffing I'm telling these to the guys right to get out of the house. You need to stay in the house. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a deep pull. This is this also one. probably one of the only times Miguel O'Hara is going to be mentioned on the Schmodown. Maybe. All right, pencil down. We need answers starting from Robert. Pencil Oscar Isaac. That is correct. For a point. Does Andres have it? Oscar Isaac. Yes, he does. Oscar Isaac. All right. I added an Ladies extra C. Why? Well I don't know. Two A's. I knew there was two of something. Perfect game in his very first match. If you right. get this last question right, Ken, it's all up to you. Do you Come on, movie trivia. Uh, no spelling. No, no, Clearly. I don't. I, don't, I should. JTE. Uh, question 10, final one, comes in the category of mixed bag. Mixed bag. From Back so to the Future. What country does the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom oh, no. predominantly take place in? Did you say the Indiana Jones? What uh, country? It's not only about the continent. What country within the continent? Go put yourself, San Diego. Here we go. <laughs> Coming down in five. This is one of those <laughs> I'm just putting three, something three, down because two, I cannot one, remember. Down, yep. Need to start with Ace. Uh, India? Uh, that is correct. Correct. Really? India. Really? <laughs> so, not Zimbabwe or Venezuela. Oh, well, we're just all over the map here. <laughs> And it is so cool to see the managers. Winston very excited about Ace's performance and yeah. Kaiser. And that is the Parker, tea. Like Kaiser is the father who's just now coming back into tea? his life. That, <laughs> that is tea. Oh, you have tea? Him. Yeah. It's tea. Oh. Robert. Just had water. Perfect round number one. And ten points. And that is the water. Question. As Jesse, you don't have to write this one down. Just answer it whenever you feel ready. Within Once again, seconds. I am <laughs> not <laughs> going into <laughs> energy <laughs> domain. <laughs> anytime. Yeah. Anytime soon. Robert, your question. Who played Adam Frankenstein in the graphic novel-based uh, film Adam Eckhart? Frankenstein? Yeah. Aaron Eckhart. <laughs> he called him Adam Eck That's great. You are correct. Oh, for right. a point. 11 oh, to 7. All right. Hi, I'm Adam Frankenstein. Yeah, so Parker's going to win this. <laughs> all right. 11 I, 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 going normally that's a score round. where it's anybody's game. Well, but Parker is showing, uh, hey, this is what... Uh, for what we know about Parker, why he was, uh, why he was in here, it's going to be very uh, hard to make up that ground. This is all par with what I was expecting. Yeah. It's going to be perfect very round. difficult and, to make and up and that ground. Question, perfect round. So living up to the hype. You have to hope that he misses Nary something, sweat, indeed, and then you have to capitalize uh, on it. Had a good show Otherwise, two, seven out of ten ain't bad. here's but a question: Has there, get you the victory if you keep that pace, uh, has there ever been a perfect soon. game? I know Tom right has now, probably gotten the closest. Advice, up uh, there's talks of Dan, Mike, people have. Uh, thrown perfect or what some people might refer to as so, near perfect uh, we'll games round number two, though, the might be round off depending on like whether a multiple go, choice was called or yeah so, uh, I, I mean ultimate perfect the wheel, the wheel meaning you get Alex every Marzonia. point that is potentially right, able to be grabbed Marzonia. yeah so for instance in Geekdom you get 11 points wheel, out, the, out of the gate yeah you get how many they got here 5 questions so you get 10 you get 10 more points here and then you get your 2, 3, and 5 you're gonna hear five Another ten. The problem with that one, though, is you gotta hope your competitor is good enough to points. carry you no to answer your two, your three, However, and your five. So you're looking at a, a so peak of about thirty-one points. Ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. We promise. At that point, the value of the question goes down to a mere point. So Robert Parker, you're sitting in the higher ranked chair, and deservedly so, after your first round perfect performance. You find yourself in a four-point lead, eleven to seven over Ace. Would you like to spend? My question is, how do they determine that Parker gets in that higher ranked chair? Like, I understand yeah, he should cool. be there. All right, he's got the pocket watch to prove it. Is it they, are they actually Make going sure off of his uh, <laughs> his amateur league, basically? Uh, Maybe. Nice English, okay. do you speak right. it? <laughs> he is going to give it a spin. Have at it. There it is. Spin is in. Spin is Good spin in. for Ace. Ken, what I love about Ace's manager, Winston Marshall, is he's actually wearing that costume out to the bar tonight. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> pretty much just his outfit. And, uh, <laughs> drinking his Goku. I get that reference. I don't understand it, but I get it. All right, we're coming down to Star Trek. <laughs> Ace, that not was... happy with that spin. <laughs> no, that no. Like the... Kid wears the emotions on his face, doesn't he, Ken? <laughs> look like my dad. I look like my dad. Now he's going to spend upon his choice. Coming. <laughs> and that will be the uh, end. Spin again. Spin again. All right, here it comes again. Coming around. 
We got a good crowd. Oh, this was a hot ticket today. It was a, big, a lot, a lot of, of people sold out early on wanted Ticketmaster. Wanted to see this yeah. one. <laughs> Two young stars of the Inner Geekdom League. Uh, yeah, sure. mostly they just uh, show the hype is real. Um, he's the Oscar that's, Isaac that's of jacket be. wearers in my life. That jacket, I, I yeah. dropped 200 easy on that jacket. Mm -mm. Oh, easily, easily. Mm. easily. He's okay. We're good. The story, so that's the good news. <laughs> Wizarding so World. He got the Wizarding this is what he World. Wants. This is what he wants. All right, good. All right. Actually, I'm all for Ace getting a this strength here because I want I want Parker to fight for fight for the hype. Time permitting, John Roca. Um, Ace, you selected uh, Harry Potter because that's what you spun, the Wizarding World of that guy. Your question, first of five in this round. Who physically plays Grip Hook? Uh, the goblin Warwick lets Davis. Harry into his money vault in sure. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's yep. Stone. I know Warwick Davis is in it, but yep. I don't know the name of the I character. Can say these. I don't have to write it, right? Uh, you can say the answer or ask for multiple choice. Your option. Got it. five, four, three, two. Multiple choice. I can provide that. Is it A, Warwick Davis, B, Peter Dinklage, C, Kenny Baker, or D, Vern Troyer? Warwick Davis. That is incorrect. Robert, oh, you your options? And Vern you Troyer. Can wager a guess. Is it A, Warwick Davis, B, Peter Dinklage, C, Kenny Baker, or D, Vern Troyer? D, Vern Troyer. That is correct for the oh. We physically Yeesh. play it. Yeah. Physically, uh, fun fact out there: Warwick Davis actually does the voice, voice. and plays him in Deathly Hallows, mm -hmm. but Vern mm -hmm. Troyer in Sorcerer's Stone. Ooh, tricky! All right, tricky. Your next question. Interesting. Andres, second of five. What type of quill does Rita Skeeter use when interviewing the Triwizard Tournament champions in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? The blue one. If I get any of these correct, it will be amazing. It'll be the one that smells like rotten honey. Multiple I don't. Choice. Is it A, the peacock writer quill, B, the auto answer quill, C, the smart answer quill, or D, the quick quotes quill? Could have used that auto answer quill back in high school. Can I hear the choices without... Uh, you can, you can once, yes. Time, okay. Is it A, the peacock writer quill, of course, then B, I would the probably still get beaten quill, up even more C, than I actually did because quill, I was writing with D, a quill. Oh my gosh, quill. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it fun to say? It's a point. Yeah. Talk about getting bullied over here, and I'm just telling him to shut up. That's funny, guys. That's humor. Humor. We're brothers, by the way. Left in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Andres, your third question. What was the answer? What is the name of the Weasley's old gray owl? Who? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Still not better. Mr. Owl. Five, four, <laughs> How many four, licks does it take? Just stop, it stop. A, Errol, B, Pigwidgeon. C, Hermes. Or D, Harold. Errol. Errol. <laughs> I'm going to ask you for the answers again. Ancient, can I do that? That's going to be a JTE rule. Oh, it is. Do it again. Yeah. Five, four, oh. three, you want to use it? Two. No, Harold. Yes. Uh, you said... You said I said Harold. Harold? Yeah. And that is incorrect. Incorrect. Oh, okay. Well, is it A. Errol, B. Pigwidgeon, C. Hermes, or D. Harold? A. Errol. It is, in fact, Challenge Harold. that. Oh, yeah. Challenge that. It's a fair challenge? That's true. Yep. All right, so. Yeah. Uh, and that's the problem with the, the answers when you write out answers for multiple choice. If you make them one sound too much like the correct one. Review the challenge and be right back with our ruling. No, that's a fair challenge. That, that's, that's a very fair challenge. They should ask just a whole new question. All right, we are back. And after a three hour deliberation. <laughs> three seconds. Not surprised. that the announcer, in this case, <laughs> Baby Carrots Mark Ellis. Coming to your city soon did, in fact, show the hand a little bit and maybe give Robert Parker an easier time Which, with... I don't doubt choice. that Parker knew so that answer regardless, yeah. but is to ask when it comes Robert to the Parker game, another question you go for it. Provide multiple choice for that yep. if he could get a one-point steal. So Robert, yeah, because, I mean, in the same situation, he, he knew the answer to that. He was going to get that point. I'm going to give point. you all your multiple choice options. You may not elect to answer the two-point version. Which Horcrux was destroyed during the events of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Is it A, Tom Riddle's Mother's Ring? No clue. B, Helga Hufflepuff's Cup? C, Tom Riddle's Diary? Or D, Diary? The diary like, he just as glass. I Tom got Riddle's this. Diary. I don't know what I just said, but he's right. That is one point. I know this. 
And that's a steal. I wonder if Two you'll see any controversy it's, off it's that because run, Ken, if you honestly, wedge, that I don't think so. As well, they can yep. pick up some I think it was the right call. Happening. Just However, Andre, it's the right call for the for the fact that you're playing a game. If it was yeah, just like he, uh, doing trivia, two then two more left. well, again, that just comes back to the fact that you just can't have two answers sound so similar. Trelawney been teaching at Hogwarts when Dolores Umbridge had her fired in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Freaking Umbridge. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the Harry Potter movies, but I know not to like Umbridge. Just can't stand her. Five, I also got that name. Four, Umbridge. Three. Yeah. Can you repeat the question? Two. Again, JTE rule. How many years had Professor Trelawney been teaching at Hogwarts when Dolores Umbridge had her fired in Harry Potter and the She's Order like of the She's like an Phoenix. all peak. Like, you just, like, ugh, you just want to not like her. Yeah. Not that I have anything that gets and, peaked, but it just doesn't help her character. And her personality. Was yeah, just, rough. ugh. Go, I know it, but I, I want to make sure. Multiple choice. Okay. Numbers. Is it A, 16 years, B, 15 years, C, 13 years, or D, 11 years? Probably don't second guess yourself at this point. If it's there, go for it. Five, four, 15 years. Three. That is incorrect, ah. Robert. For a steal, is it A, 16 years, B, 15 years, C, 13 years, or D, 11 years? A, 16 years. That's another steal another for steal. Robert Parker. Steal. A lot 14, of thievery eight. going on, and he finds himself with a six-point yep. advantage. Jeez. And he hasn't spun the wheel yet, Ken. One more question. Yep. Yeah. For Andres Cabrera. So we were talking about points you could the potentially. We didn't two think of the steals. Where he is. What is the name of oh, the sure, location yeah. wherein the mysterious and shady Borgen and Burks can be found? Uh, Harry Potter. Nice. The Wizarding World. Um, Harry Potter books. That's where it's located at. But if you're stealing, if you're stealing points, you're not going to make that 31 anyway because <laughs> you're going to be able to TKO. Is it a, yeah. Diagon Alley. B. Nocturne Alley. C. Dragon Alley. Or D. Nocturne. Zonko's Alley. A. A. Is incorrect, Robert. For another one Can't point, stand steal, is it a alley. Diagon Alley? Last time I was there, I had B, weird dreams. Nocturne Alley, C Dragon Alley, or D Zonko's Alley. Just Nocturne Alley. That's another steal for oh, Robert. Yeah. See, just not a big a thing. A lot of thievery okay. for the spider, and now his eight legs are going to go up to that wheel. He was uh, capturing those answers last. Point lead right now, and we're looking at a possible knockout if he gets a category. It's going to say, get over here, but it's a scorpion, not a spider. So far, Still an arachnid, but step up to the wheel. stay six feet away. <laughs> Don't get over here. Stay right there. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> Don't math. make yourself laugh. That's right. I, You're I gonna can't. go to a coughing fit. I will. He doesn't have the thing, guys. He just has allergies. I'm not allowed to be funny. I will cough. Kaiser will put you in that black and then steal it back. Um, so good. Sweet tea. I love it here in Texas. Oh, jeez. Come on. I don't believe this. It goes. It was destiny. Just let him spin the wheel again. Just. With his very first spin in the Schmodown, how about that luck? And sure, the other series over. that we know nothing about. All right. You know what? I'm honestly I'm all in it for right. the reacting to what happens Let's in the match at this point. Say all these Inner Geekdom is never going to be the one that we could answer questions <laughs> to right. perfectly. Not anymore, unless it's Marvel. Now yes. the margin of victory one would need um, <laughs> is ten points. In Who played Frodo? Who actually, played Frodo? Oh, come yeah. on. Ace finds himself trailing by ten points or less. He is still mathematically not. Wait, what was his name? Elijah Wood. Round number three. Keep in mind, Robert can get above. What do you eat after first breakfast? Mm -hmm. And not knock Ace out because there is the possibility of Snack. stealing That's for these true. five questions. All right. You Actually, technically, my breakfast is at lunchtime, so. Category of Middle Earth. Brunch. Usually dinner. What does Aragorn <laughs> discover among the remains from the battle between the Urukai and Rohirrim that leads him to believe Merry and Pippin might be? It's an article their, of clothing. Of their their helmets. Their belts. That'll work. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. Sorry. See it. Sorry. That'll Sorry. Work. That's good. You good. You got it. Two points. Two points. There was uh, there was notes down there. I hadn't. There was read a lot the of reading. <laughs> Stop to pronounce all that stuff. All right. Second question out of five here, and this is a key one. I mean, I said article of clothing. Yeah. The Spe wizard Radagast specific. has what living under his cap? Squirrel. A rat. A bird nest. A ghast. Two more points. That's like a rat going. All right, that's right. I believe uh, Kaiser also has a rat a ghast. living under his cap. 
So right, round you're, two, you're second you're question. Ready. In that range, you let me know. Making a mental note. All right, so it is 19 to 8. Uh, A's not mathematically eliminated yet. Like still to in cut it, me he's out. got to be prepared because if that steal comes, he's going to need to take advantage doing? if he wants to move on to round number three. All right. Third question. What is the name of the great hall in Edoras that the king of Rohan rule from? The Golden Hall of Meduseld. That is two points there. All right. And Ken, now we find ourselves at that moment. If Robert yeah. Parker can answer this question correctly, he will have knocked out mm -hmm. Andres Ace Cabrera yep. in round number two. All right. Guess what? Guess Fourth what, kids? Question. This is how in it shakes out. This is how it shakes out. Of Smaug, what kind of light revealed the secret entrance to Lonely Mountain? Moonlight. And your winner! Well. I think Ace had fun. Yeah, he looks like he had fun. Yeah. It is Moonlight, Ken. I have a feeling Robert has seen those films once or twice, yes. and it is a 23 to 8 victory. Robert Parker living up to the height, living up to how well dressed he was entering All right. the competition studio here today. The Let's just butt, cut out the middleman. Let's just bothered. skip straight to the end. Uh, Parker uh, versus Smets. Yeah. Uh, just, partial, just hold on now. Wait. Chandru's still got to go up against Smets. And I'm all for Smets. But Chandru's the only one that has gotten anywhere close to taking him out outside of Mike. We're not counting Mike. Mediator will be returning Robert to his mother. Oh, yeah, the next, uh, and, you know. Uh, the, the dungeon just, keeps rolling on, man. We could uh, have Parker versus. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be Parker team. versus Smith. I'm just him early and know A lot of people had question marks because <laughs> just as Parker versus you could possibly Smets. be. You just there's the oh. unknown factor, and Kaiser did go out on that limb. He went out on the branch. He took a mm -hmm. risk, and the branch did not crumble under the weight. Nay, it it proved it was a mighty oak. Mm -hmm. And now we join the winner. Robert the Spider Parker, oh, it, his Professor manager, Oak. Dr. I'm Tooth so sorry, guys. My Sturgeon. humor game is off today. Stop, Ellis. You're killing me. <laughs> Geyser, this is an amazing performance for his first time out the gate. And a lot of people, I think, were doubting Robert Parker. And your choice to pick him so early in the draft, what do you have to say to those people? Like, Kaiser's so stupid. He picked a kid who didn't miss a freaking question the entire game. Boy, I must really not know what I'm doing. You know what's going to happen? We're going to keep racking up points in the IG. We're going to murder this division. The dungeon isn't going to lose a match in IG, so everyone better get out their VHS tapes and blow off the dust. Get ready. Watch what you got to watch because the spider's coming for more action. Enough said. I have to ask you, do you feel like you lived up to the hype? I mean, I think so. <laughs> I guess we'll see what everybody else thinks. But yeah, I, I feel really good about how I played today. I got to give lots of love to both Kaiser for drafting me and Smets, my good buddy, for helping me out during this time. So yeah, he wasn't able to be here today, unfortunately. But man, he, he's a big help. You feel like having all that hype around, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to get the victory today. It was more motivation than pressure, because I knew what I was capable of. And it was just really me saying to myself, I need to rise to this occasion and actually make it happen. And I did. Uh, don't you think it's a little bit conflict of interest, though, Kaiser, that you have Parker and Smets on your team? Because let's face it, we haven't seen. No, this, this is gonna be good, great TV later. Since Smets, where do you get these questions from? Are we trying to start something? Just trying to start start some static? I'm just saying it might be a conflict of interest. No. No, winning is not a conflict. We're gonna win, win, win. As long as belts stay in the dungeon, it's a good year for us. So. I got two beasts. They couldn't be more hungry. Smets had them up at 2.30 in the morning and feeding them Captain Crunch and hamburger, quizzing them on the uh, Lord of the, the, the Middle Earth or whatever it is. And so, you know, we got them ready. And he, and he, he, there is no Nailed it. With a guy who never misses a question. He's a lethal, lethal man. So I guess the next obvious question is who do you want next? You want to answer this? It's a good question. Uh, whoever thinks that they can step to the dungeon, I'm ready to take them on. So nobody. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, Kaiser. I love you and hate you in the same breath. Back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken Kaiser getting a free shirt from a Peaky Blinders production yeah. in his neighborhood. Yeah, and uh, someone hand Jen some hand sanitizer right now. <laughs> Poor Jen's got to shake that guy's hand way too much. Yeah, All right, anymore. Uh, back to Jen right now with... What's hand shaking? The, uh, losing competitor today. It's amazing how quickly the world changes. And yeah. Uh, Andres Ace Cabrera. Winston Marshall, Robert Parker the third, Jen, take it away. Wait, what? 
I'm sorry. They're bringing props, guys. Oh, um, it's, it's fine. I mean, this is very standard. If you're not already doing so, you should listen to the Meaning of Podcast with my boy RB3 here and my boy Ace, who had a great match. Honestly, that was a great first match, man. I mean, again, people are saying this kid is the second coming of, like, you know, nerd Jesus. So, like, I... I, you know, he dresses old school like he is the second coming. I don't remember the first, first coming of Nerd Jesus. He had an incredible match. He knew the name of a spider. I don't have time to figure out spiders' names. I kill them. I just, not, not, oh, that's his nickname. I didn't mean that. I meant like actual little spiders that be in your house, be biting you and be giving you giant welts. I'm going to stop talking now and let Ace talk because I put my foot in my mouth. I didn't really mean to do that. So Yeah, uh, Winston yeah. just threatened to. Uh... I was like, that spider had a family, man. Come on. <laughs> Oh, Andres, I know that you were probably disappointed in the fact that you lost, but to be fair, you basically, that was a Mack truck that you were out there against. It, it was, and unfortunately I still wanted to do better, and I knew I could have done better. I, I know Harry Potter better than what I showed, and I just happened to get questions that I didn't know, which is disappointing. And then once he had opponent's choice and he got Lord of the Rings and Middle Earth, I was like, all right, this is this is game, set, match, it's, it's done, and, and I, I'm... I'm, I'm, if I lose to anyone, it's leases to him. I'm happy I lost to him. I actually like the kid quite a bit. So, there you go. God, kayfabe. You gotta get a real listen, man. <laughs> but so he's a face. You had to be feeling a little bit beaten down when he started getting all those deals. <laughs> he's yeah, a face ace. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I ace the face. I he's in kayfabe. Choice, I would have had a shot. Did you know those answers? And they and like the lights got to you because look, this is your debut. I mean, that happens to a lot of people. Yeah, I. I actually didn't think I would get nervous, but I did get a little bit nervous, and unfortunately, I think if I got a second chance, I would actually show a little bit better. But the lights did get to me quite a bit, because I, I thought I prepped enough, but apparently, apparently not enough. Apparently not enough. Also, this guy's literally a magician. Like, he, Harry Potter, that, that, that was the easiest category. He's like him landing on a punish choice. Like, I mean, it, you, you did your best days. I know what a bad uh, will spin would do to you, so, you know, that's... And I, look, I'm going to say real talk, this is my fault, man, because the last time I wore this during the Geekdom match, I got TKO'd, so that's my fault. I apologize. We will never see Goku in this place ever again. But Bloku, Black Goku is done, all right? We, we, we done with that. Bloku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God for that. I was wondering what was going on there. So what's next, guys? We're going to keep rolling? We're going to keep doing this at our Geekdom? This is like yeah, Jen's habit of patting the managers match. on the I chest. Like <laughs> She's just, just go on with your bad self. <laughs> My first time oh, game, so sweet honey child. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, no. I want to face off against somebody. Fake laughing so I don't cough. Someone not Robert Parker. Sound like that laugh from uh, Simpsons. I think oh, oh, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Uh, after seeing what just happened out there, but I'm sorry about your loss. He's today, been guys. on the show, then. But not the end yeah. of swag. Yeah, not, not, not at all. Drip, drip, baby, all day. You're always a class actor, and thank you so much for, uh, for you know, having us out here. Drip, drip. How do we do it? Okay. Wait. Uh, oh no, I I can't. On, I'm, I'm, on, no, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, there oh, that was my face. All right, we're done here. <laughs> All right, Ken. She put some style in that though. She looks like she has some finesse heel. in it. Yeah. I hope we can edit that Jen had a little flair in there. A lot of four-letter uh, words, not meant for the kiddies' ears. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, it's such a nice guy. And, what a great uh, kid. They're, they're chanting, chanting drip, drip like they're my doctor explaining my prostate problems to me. It's, uh, oh, uh, good it's, Lord. Uh, they're good, got a good team over there right now. And I, this is why I really do love... You expect no less from Kidnap Sock. Yeah, I know. A podcast with him. That is, Sabrina, that's, that that's is really Pete Kidnap content. Sock right there. Uh, and I know because of the, I know that show. I know Ace has the mind. He can get back in the training room, uh, kind of try out and come back. But Robert Parker, the spider. Man, like what said up top, sometimes you hear so and so is coming. They're bringing all this uh, resume uh, to, to the game, and, and, and then they don't come through. And then this was a case of, yep, it's as advertised. That's right. Uh, both gentlemen, inspiring young minds, uh, really have such positive energy. It's nice to have them around the studio. It's nice to have that, that youthful exuberance in, in victory or in defeat. Mm -hmm. Nice to see Robert Parker, the spider, and Andres Cabrera ace compete here today on the field of movie trivia battle. Ken, mm -hmm. the last word goes to you. What does it feel like to watch these two young bucks just enter the prime of their life? It makes me tired because I need a nap, but they're both uh, great, and the future of the Inner Geekdom division is actually better than it's ever been. We have had legends in this division before, but now we have a robust roster of competitors. More questions, more Inner Geekdom coming your way. And Robert's a magician, they say? He, he can actually perform magic tricks. I've seen it, okay. and I've been amazed. I've been horrified. The I... kid can bend spoons. 
pigeons come from uh, orifices. You did not know a pigeon could live. Yeah, I'm going to try to get her to turn my Camry into at least a Hyundai. We're going to go out in the backyard and figure that one out. You can open for me a couple more gigs. We'll see what that payment looks like. And, you know, Ken, we like to do this every so often. <laughs> Everybody in the studio, how about a big hand for our crew here working so hard today? That's the best crew in the biz. You got Adam Smith there in the booth. You got Robert Butler the third, not only advertising his podcast, The Meaning Up, but also helping us with the cameras. You yeah, got Alex Geraldo. Marzonia, uh, Brandon Hanna, Dwayne Burke, uh, Joey Moda, everybody else running around. Uh, Megan Sanborn. There's so many great people here yeah. today. And you, the viewer, another great person. <coughs> maybe I'm assuming a little bit too <coughs> much, but I think you're at least a good human being. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching us. <coughs> maybe supporting our patron, the, the movie chronic, the Schmodown <coughs> Patreon. Dude, Select which chronic. tier is right oh, yeah, yeah. today. And Ken, they can Ooh. go to Schmodownlive.com for upcoming live event tickets <laughs> and all the stats and information your brain can handle. Didn't, didn't mean to actually right start that. You can't fake say, off. No. For all the pre-game and post-game stats and stories. You're almost, you're done. Over by Schmodown Live. For now. Just got to make it to the end. Cubs win. So close. That's Harry Carey. Just come on. So close to the end. There we go. Oh, well, that was a uh, a fantastic debut. That's exactly what you expect. Uh, if Ace got a little bit more points, you probably would have actually seen Parker make it to that thirty-one or pretty close to that thirty-one. Yeah, I think the kid is capable of getting a perfect game. Yeah, and that's what I, that's what like I was saying before that. He, Robert Parker could hit those higher numbers, mm -hmm. but there needs to be an opponent that can help support him to reach that. Smets. Smets. Smets versus Parker is going to be an extremely high-scoring game for both of them. Honestly, like I want to see it come down to a point, though, where Parker's gotten enough uh, enough battles in Inner Geekdom, and he's looking at Smets, and they're about to take each other on, and then Kalinowski just slips and goes, nope, nope, nope. You want him, you got to go through me first. Ooh. I mean, that would be fun. There's so many scenarios that we can have play out. The thing is, I'm not sure you're going to see that because I'm not sure how long it's going to be before uh, Kalinowski comes back into Inner Geekdom. I know there's a lot of talk right now of him just kind of focusing in on teams at the moment, which is a smart move. It's a smart move right now. But <laughs> you know Kalinowski's not going to stay away from Inner Geekdom forever. No, that's, will, his, that's his home. He will be back. Yeah, he will come back, and I would love to see it happen right before Parker thinks he's going to take on Smets. Nope. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That'll be, that'll be how you hook him. But we have to see how that all plays out because <laughs> how it shakes out. Uh, yeah, we have to see how all that shakes out because right now we don't know how the rest of this year is going to shake out. Just in general, not even necessarily <laughs> with the Schmodown. Yeah. So a lot a lot of good stuff there. Ace. Yes, I also still want to think the helpful hardware place. But Ace, we... I want to see more from him. We want to see more from him. The thing is, uh, probably not this year. Probably not going to see anything more from him this year. Let's yeah. be honest. I, I would like to see Ace. Ace is the type, seems like the type of person I want to see climb that ladder just to... I want to get a better gauge of how well his knowledge is. Have him go up against... Uh, like Adam Lavick, uh go up against uh, Haybon and then start hitting up to like the Hitman, Chandru. Let's see if he can reach those levels before yeah. hopefully, maybe, possibly going right back into the ranks of the higher uh, IG. He's He's got a climb ahead of him. I mean, when you when your first debut, yes, I I also believe that he's capable of doing more than, more than what he showed today, he, as he said in his interview. But when your when your debut is eight points and you do get KO'd, it's it's a very hard argument as to why you should come back this season, especially considering the situation that we're in right now. And that's what I say. I don't think we got like a full good read on him and his knowledge. So no, um, if they do something like more inner geekdom driven towards the end of the year, like a full on inner geekdom tournament going into the end of, end of the year, yeah. Along with say teams and singles, that'll help then, a little more. Then maybe we can get some of these some of these guys in Energy to move. Had just that one showing, maybe they can get back in and try to fight for it again. But otherwise, this might be the last time you see Ace for this current season as it is right now. Possibly again, notwithstanding what happens the rest of this year. Yep. So, a lot of a lot of fun and interesting stuff happening in the uh, in the world of the Schmodown. Bunch of uh, exhibition matches are coming too. 
Yeah, so as of right now, we're expecting these exhibition matches are going to be Patreon only. For right now, um, I don't know. I, I believe at one point they said they were going to be up for everybody, but they might just be Patreon only for now. So knowing these that... Gonna, these are going to be StreamYard hosted exhibition yeah. matches just to maintain social distancing. Right. So knowing that, if you can, now would be about the time you want to jump on that $10 tier on the Schmodown Patreon. Because just in case. Because that is how you guarantee for it, absolutely sure that you're going to be able to see all of these matches and see them along with everybody else who's watching them. And there's going to be some good ones. There's going to be some good ones. I'm, I'm eager. That one with all the champions. All, right out the gate. Right out the gate. That's going to be a phenomenal match right there. Yeah, you got Alex Damon versus Smets versus Dan versus Roca. And yeah. there's going to be like a fair mix of inner geekdom and general knowledge questions. And yeah. that's going to be just the best. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of good stuff there. You're going to want to go ahead and get on that Schmodown Patreon. A bunch of stuff to jump on over there. Uh, I think there's another Rocky, mm-hmm. like for a Rocky belt match. Harloff uh, versus Roka. Roka versus Christian Harloff. It's been a while since we've seen Harloff play. Not since the last Rocky match. Anyway. Yeah, against Dagnino. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, get on that Patreon tier, jump in there, all sorts of fun stuff coming down the pipe for that. Uh, anything else? I mean, go like, comment, and subscribe over to the Schmodown, the Schmodown Entertainment Network. That is that is the channel you want to do all the stuff over there. That is a treasure trove of treasures right now. That So, throughout this whole thing, the pandemic or whatever, those guys, Christian Harloff has been putting on a fantastic show over there. With a Daily. little help... From like some of his friends, including Brett Sheridan. Go ahead and say it. The flirt and flouse. Yes. Oh, the flirt and flouse has been flirting and flousing all over the place over at the Schmodown Entertainment Network. Oh, jeez, yes. it, it just it's it's <laughs> fantastic quality stuff. Yeah, that's what it feels like. I need more tea. Uh, that's fantastic quality stuff. Go over to the Schmodown Entertainment Network. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Help them out because they are putting out some great stuff. And you're going to want to enjoy you're that. You're going to want to enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my throat here. Uh, uh, so much fun stuff over there, though. Uh, it's like, they freaking got the Flirt and Flouse number 26 trending on Twitter. Yeah. That's what happens. You, you miss out on that if you don't watch it live. Yeah, so help them out on Patreon. Go to schmodownlive.com. They still have a website up. It's got yep. useful information. It's got fantastic facts the and current stats schedule and, stuff. and all that. Yeah, so go over there, check that out as well. As for us, we're doing things. <laughs> trying to. He's not. He's <laughs> dying. Apparently. On camera. As for us, you can uh, go to all our social media pages. We got Instagram, Twitter, all sorts of stuff at Cinefanatics MLP. That is the handle. Or you can go over to our Facebook yeah. group. That's facebook.com slash group slash Cinefanatics. Yeah. Also, what did you think of this video? Give us a like. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think. Again, follow us and on this channel by subscribing. You will be notified when we go live with the tagline Tuesday nights, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. I feel like we've mentioned that in this video before. And last week we uh, stated that we were going to have John Roca on. That actually got flipped around. We're doing it this week. Oh, that's right. Provided that we don't have to flip things around again. So this week we will have John Roca on. Stay tuned to all social media in case that has to change for any reason at all. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to have a guest on this week on our tagline. So you're yeah. going to want to tune into that show on Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. Central Time. To stay notified, make sure you subscribe to us. You can hit the subscribe and that bell down below. Or you can subscribe to us by hitting the subscribe button up there above his head. Over here off to the side are a couple of other videos that we have made. And as always... Robert Parker, Robert Parker. Does whatever Robert Parker can. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I was going to the cartoon. Yeah, later. See ya. Look out! Here comes the Robert Parker. Magic!